Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is the Weekly Report, a look at your news from the City of Kansas City, Missouri. Residents making city service requests online will notice new options on the 311 call center's online map. 311 users may now look up any request on the map and view its status as well as the complete case history. And then they may also submit follow-up comments. These enhancements were made to provide both city staff and 311 users with better information, which may help resolve issues more quickly. Access the 311 online map by visiting kcmo.gov and searching for 311. Would you like to suggest a project for next year's capital improvement budget? Or do you know of any outdated city ordinances or regulations that should be taken off the books? Visit the city's virtual town hall website at kcmomentum.org and submit your ideas. KC Momentum is a convenient and efficient way for the city to hear from residents who have good ideas but who may not have the time or the ability to attend traditional public meetings. Marlene Leonce of the Public Works Department has been awarded the Rich Knoll Paysetter Award. As Senior Environmental Officer, Leonce has made considerable contributions to the city's recycling programs. The Rich Knoll Paysetter Award program monthly recognizes city employees who are skilled in communication, customer service, teamwork, and leadership. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. One of the uh, most important city services uh, it, that we provide is uh, some of the more simple things we don't think about on a daily basis, but trash pickup, uh, recycling, as was talked about, impacts all our citizens every day. And uh, we've had many uh, constituent uh, issues or calls that we've addressed very quickly. And in part, it wasn't uh, because of anything we did. We called Marlene and she interacted with the public in a very professional manner, received very high praise, I can tell you. You don't uh, hear that maybe from the people you've helped all the time, but you really uh, have made an impression out there uh, among the citizens you've helped. So I'm really thanking you on behalf of the citizens for all your hard work and your dedication to the city. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Taylor. Are there any others who wish to speak to the resolution? If not, the resolution is now before the council. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? There are no opposed. The resolution is passed. Marlene? Thank you, there you Mr. Are. Mayor. There you are. Thank you. I live my life by a simple rule. Treat everyone like you would like to be treated. Therefore, because of my work ethics and my values, I consider this a great privilege to serve the residents of Kansas City. As city employees, we are charged with the daily responsibilities of providing the highest quality of service to our residents, and I take this task seriously. Therefore, I am grateful that we have an awesome city manager, <laughs> mayor, city council, and not to forget our residents who work diligently to ensure that we in solid waste and we as city employees have the tools needed to perform our jobs. To my colleagues out there, city council, neighborhood organizations, I say thank you. You have given me the chance to live my passion. This is a passion for me. And I thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart. The award is named in honor of former Assistant City Manager Rich Knoll, who served the city for more than 26 years. To learn more or to nominate an employee, visit kcmo.gov and search for Pace Setter. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. As summer finally arrives, residents are invited to celebrate KC Parks. We have many fun events planned that the whole family will enjoy. Come out to South Moreland Park for the 22nd season of the Heart of America Shakespeare Festival, featuring a production of The Winter's Tale. This festival will take place June 17th through July 6th on Tuesday through Sunday evenings. There will also be one Monday performance on June 30th and no performance on July 4th. Gates open at 6 p.m. for pre-show entertainment and refreshments with the curtain call at 8 p.m. Admission continues to be free, but donations are gratefully accepted. For more information, visit kcshakes.org. Everyone is invited to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Garrison Community Center on Saturday, June 28th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Free activities include a DJ and live local entertainment, 
face painting, games, health screenings, and more. For information, visit caseyparks.org. July is National Parks and Recreation Month. This year's theme, Out is In, encourages everyone to do something outside every day of the month to make getting out part of your daily routine. Follow hashtag KC Parks on social media during July for ideas and activities to get outside. Be inspired and change your outlook. Visit caseyparks.org for the entire Out is In July calendar of events. To learn more about these or other events Kansas City Parks and Recreation has to offer, visit kcparks.org and click on the calendar or give us a call at 816-513-7500. Hi, I'm Floyd Peoples, Chief Fire Marshal for the Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department. The 4th of July is a time for fun, family, and picnics, but the use and discharge of fireworks in the city limits is prohibited. Kansas City Fire Department responds to numerous fires and injury calls each year due to the use of fireworks. Nationwide, more than 15,000 reported fires were started by fireworks, and 8,000 fireworks-related injuries were treated in U.S. hospital emergency rooms. There are also more fires on the typical 4th of July than any other day of the year. So remember, leave the fireworks to the professionals so you can enjoy your family and picnics and not have a visit from us. Thanks, have a safe day. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities. July is usually one of the hottest months in Kansas City and things are heating up at your convention center as we get ready to host several large conventions that will bring over 30,000 visitors and over 20 million in tourist dollars to our fair city. Kansas City will welcome the Church of God in Christ 2014 Auxiliaries in Ministry Convention June 30th through July 4th. This international convention is also expected to draw large numbers from the local community. One week later, the Evangelical Church of America will have their National Youth Conference from July 6th through July 10th with 7,000 attendees. This year's Youth Conference Challenge 2014 is a faith-filled five-day event for our junior high and senior high high school students from across the U.S. Sopata Designs will hold its 2014 National Conference from July 17th through July 20th. Based in Lenexa, Kansas, Sopata Designs has more than 33,000 independent sales representatives throughout the world, offering handcrafted sterling silver jewelry to buyers participating in a relaxed home party gathering. For more information on this organization, visit sopata.com. The American Dairy Science Association and the American Society of Animal Science will bring their combined annual convention to Kansas City July 20th through July 24th. The convention will draw animal industry professionals representing universities, extension government agencies, and agriculture corporations. For more information about the ADSA, visit www.adsa.org. With all these visitors coming into Kansas City in the weeks ahead, let's show them our Kansas City friendliness and enthusiasm. Because in Kansas City, that's how we roll. To learn more about upcoming events at the Kansas City Convention Center, visit kcconvention.com or call 816-513-5000. Residents are invited to come out to KC Riverfest, the city's annual Independence Day celebration on July 4th at Berkeley Riverfront Park. The festival will feature music, food, drinks, a kids play area, and a custom fireworks show. Admission is just five bucks and children younger than 12 are free. For more information, visit kcriverfest.com. In observance of the Independence Day holiday, city offices will be closed on Friday, July 4th. In addition, residents who usually have Friday trash collection will receive this service on Saturday, July 5th. 
Residents who usually have trash collection on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday will not be affected. The week after the holiday, July 5th through the 10th, is a no tag period for trash collection in the city. During this time, residents may set out up to 15 bags of trash without tags. The Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also called PIAC, is a 13-person committee that collects resident input regarding public improvements and makes recommendations to the mayor and city council regarding the citywide and neighborhood portions of the capital budget. PIAC invites residents to attend its upcoming neighborhood hearings. These are scheduled throughout June and July. The next meeting will be held on Tuesday, July 1st from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at Northland Neighborhoods, Inc. For a complete listing of upcoming hearings, please visit kcmo.gov and search for PIAC hearings. For more information about any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.